my name is Stephanie at De Wallstein, and I'm a researcher developer in the Faculty of Science and Engineering at the University of Manchester. I've had the privilege to uh, deliver career consultations for researchers from the University of Liverpool during the Academy's Making an Impact Week in the summer of 2020. And today I'm recording this bite-sized video um, as part of the Academy's Rest Step in Your PJs. Um, I want to share some insights with you that came out of uh, these sessions, particularly um, the question around how you can sell your academic skills when you're applying for a job in industry. Now, you are employed by university, so some of you may wonder, well, why is this even relevant? Well, we know that actually um, it's less than 10% of postdocs um, who pursue a long term career in academia. And um, so for the 90% of you who will get jobs in other sectors, um, seen from where you are now, it might be, look, be looking a bit difficult to see a path out of uh, academia. Um, in those conversations, many of you told me that um, you don't, you think that you don't really have the skills or the necessary uh, um, experience that are required in a non-academic environment. And I want to use this opportunity today to send this one message, which is you have masses of relevant experience and all skills are transferable. You just need to know how to sell them. So let me give you an example. So um, let's say you are a postdoctoral uh, research associate in mathematical sciences and uh, to you and me and everyone else at the university it's perfectly clear what your role is and at what career stage you are at um, but that is not necessarily the case outside of academia so if you are um, trying to apply, for example, for a job as a data scientist um, for a, a software company somewhere. So the first thing you have to remember when you're trying to sell your skills through your CV is that you speak the language of the hiring company. So in the profile section of uh, your CV, um, don't say you are currently a PDRA in mathematical sciences. Um, say you are a data scientist because this is what you are and this is what they want and this is what they will understand. So um, if in the, the job description um, they ask for experience in, in oh, what is it, the bullet points, they usually say uh, delivering insights to a variety of stakeholders in person in, in writing or something like that. Well, bingo, because you have masses of experience in that. So you have presented at seminars and conferences to expert audiences. Uh, you have teaching experience with PhD students and undergrads. You have written papers. Um, you have helped prepare uh, grant applications and, and proposals, and that included writing a project plan something that is necessary in industry as well. Uh, you are using Twitter um, or you're writing a blog to disseminate your science to a lay audience. And all of that will evidence that you clearly have that skill that they're looking for, which is that you know how to tailor your communication and that you can com communicate clearly and, and in a tailored way to any audience. If you are unsure um, about you know, how to go about translating your skills um, for your CV. Don't hesitate to ask for advice. You can go um, ask your contacts in the postdoc community. Um, you can use any other of your networks. Ask the questions. Um, ask the colleagues in the research development team. They're more than happy to help. And you can find more information on all the research development opportunities at the University of Liverpool by visiting the researcher hub under www.liverpool.ac.uk slash researcher. All the very best to you.